The Herald Standard presents the game of the week tonight. The Manesson Greyhounds have traveled to Carmichael's to take on the Mikes. In the first, Manesson took a hand at the passing game and it ended badly, giving Carmichael's the ball with great field position. Dylan Wilson with the snatch. But Carmichael's quickly gave it back and they quickly move it down the field and turn it into points. Well, almost anyway. Turn around, back back one. On the offense, 15 yards. On the ball, Monesson on the board first with three points. But before they could cut the cake, Nick Mundell ruins the party with this 53 yard run straight into the end zone. In the middle of the second, the Mikes get their second scoring opportunity and they bring it home. The Greyhounds grinding toward the red zone and the Mikes give them a whole lot of help with a helmet to helmet call, a call we see a lot of these days. But the Mikes will give them no more help. So quarterback Corey Fleming will do it himself. But the missed two point conversion leaves them short on the scoreboard. Late in the second, Manesson offsides, moves the Mikes closer to the end zone with the clock counting down. The Carmichael's luck runs out with the clock and they add no more points before the half. In the third, Carmichael's runs the kick up all the way back to midfield. Nathan Broadwater pushing toward the end zone, but the quarterback does the honors. Another error by Manesson sets up the Mikes once again. Leading to another Carmichael score. And another turnover by the Greyhounds. This is getting ugly. The defense holds and the Greyhounds get a shot downfield. Pass interference and the next pass finds its target. It's fourth down in the fourth quarter. And that is a catch. And that is a touchdown for the Greyhounds. On their next possession, fourth down for the Greyhounds and time is running short. It looks like a tackle, but a second effort almost gets a first down. But almost isn't good enough. Mundell takes it in for Carmichael's one more time, and that's the final score. 33 to 15, the Mikes. Harold Standard here with Carmichael's running back, Nick Mundell. Um, can you talk big win tonight over a, a rival, Manesson? Uh, yeah, last year it was a competitive game, and it was very close to the end, and uh, Cody Brown sealed the deal for us. Uh, this year uh, we came out excited and they came out excited too uh they have that one kid uh number 22 he's right. he's pretty good uh he can move and uh our key was to stop him and uh i think we did a decent job with that uh we could be better but uh could be worse too All right. i mean do you think you guys did a good job tonight they always talk about speed with manasa do you guys think you did a good job neutralizing kind of their speed tonight? Uh, yes, uh, Coach Krul, uh really emphasized that uh, we didn't go t straight to the linebacker or to the running back. We took our angles and uh, took it appropriately. Okay. Um, I, I noticed with all the guys on your team, all the running backs, you usually don't get down with the first hit. Is that something you guys pride yourself on? Uh, that's that's our. Uh, we have keys uh, rules. And number one is not to fumble. Number two is don't get tackled by the first guy. So it's a main rule. We practice it a lot in practice. Uh, that's it's one of our goals. Last year, mm. I mean, is it is it different after having won the conference? Do you guys feel like you have to defend, or is it just like the same as last season? You're still just as hungry, and you still, you know, uh, you we take just it further this year. We just want to win. That's all. That's all the guys want. We uh, we go to practice. We do what we're supposed to do, and we're just striving to win. Thanks, Nick. Yep. Uh, with Coach Ryan Krull from Carmichael's after a big win over Manesson tonight, um, can you talk about 
they're you always want to beat a team like Manessa, and you want to win every game. But you know this is going to be a quality opponent when you come in and face them. Um, you talk about tonight's win, how important it is for you. Yeah, you know, anytime you start the season off uh, with a victory, you know, you feel good about it. The kids feel good about it. Um, you know, it kind of gives some validity to all the work that we put in, you know, um, in the winter months, in the spring, and in the summer. So, you know, I know our kids were pumped up and, uh, you know, deservedly so. Manessa is probably always known for their speed. Mm -hmm. um, I think you guys are known around the conference for your physicality. Sure. It was a very physical game tonight. It looked like, yeah. for the most part, you came out on top of that battle a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah, you know, our, our kids were gutsy, um, you know, and we don't have anybody that has, you know, crazy speed, but uh, we got guys that are fast enough that, you know, we tell them, you know, every, everybody's a piece of a puzzle in every play, and you got to fit in um, where your piece goes. So I thought for the most part we did that. Um, Obviously, you know, there's some things that we need to clean up, but, uh, but but I thought they did a pretty good job. How do you get the kids, I think, to, to so physical? I mean, the kids picking up, I, I kind of sure. one hit, two hits, then, you know, four yeah. yards after a hit, five yeah. yards after a hit. Sure. Well, I, I, I know our, our running back uh, coaches tell them that they're never allowed to be brought down by the first runner. So whether that's by, you know, um, making some kind of juke move or, or breaking a tackle by running through a guy, you know, that, that's really the standard they have. And, you know, when we get them in here as freshmen, that's the expectation. And, you know, our guys running the ball tonight are, are upperclassmen. So, you know, they've been through the ringer. They, 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 they've been through the drills, you know, that these coaches put them through you know, to keep them upright and, and to keep churning those legs. So, um, you know, hats off to our kids for being coachable. Hats off to our coaches for, for teaching them, you know, the techniques they're, they're teaching them. Uh, any win obviously is important, but a win maybe over Manessa, and, I mean, yeah. despite their record last year, sure. that kind of sets the tone for you right. for the rest of the season. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, let's hope so. Um, you know, last year we kind of started it, you know, the same way, a tough fought game with Manessa, and, but, uh, you know, we'll let our kids enjoy this tonight, but, you know, they understand that when we come in tomorrow and, and watch the film and get a workout, that we got to get better. You know, there's a lot of things that we got to clean up if we're going to get to where we want to be. Thanks, Coach. Okay, bud. Thank you.